welcome back and uh, part uh, creation single part creation in commerce so previously we had created assembly drawings in commerce and uh, we're still on the uh, on the drawing section of commerce uh, user interface so we want to switch back to the model view so how do you do that you can press ctrl d and you can just double click on ctrl d here on the uh, on the explorer you can see my cursor moving uh, a, a little bit quickly uh, a little bit faster so let me just double click on the model view so you can see we have our rafter still selected so this time round i want to select the same same component but i need a single part for this so what i'm going to do here i'm going to select on it so once i've selected on it i'm going to right click and come to create drawings but this time round i'm going to click part drawing so remember I repeatedly i've said to create a drawing commerce is first of all you have to perform numbering this numbering creates identifier of uh, 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 of all the parts or, or create a, a creates identifier of the parts you're trying to create so that will help the commerce to 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 number or or or, or label any kind uh, any detail that you will need using the, the identifier uh, that, that you had just created automatically by clicking this drop down arrow and picking the first option perform numbering that will help commerce to create drawings like that now once i've done so i've, I've just clicked and had done numbering before and i'm going to right click here and come to create new drawings but i'm going to click a part a part drawing so i'm going to just give some time to uh, just give some time to process that information uh, of part drawing creation so once it is done i'll be able to go back to i'll go be i'll be able to go to drawing section where we are now to try and follow up with my uh with the drawing follow up the drawing that have just created of a single part drawing and try open it up if everything i needed is within that uh, uh, uh drawing so let's just give some time to open you can see here it's still creating part drawing but initially we had created a uh, assembly drawing for this particular part of a rafter so let's just give some time to process that, the same same information it's it won't take so much and we'll be able to open it and have a look of, of what we have created it won't take so much let's just give some time here we are and almost there remember we had this we created uh the, the title block the title block we created or in either dwg or any card and make sure everything is exploded and our drawing has been created so what i'm going to do i'm going to drawings manager i'm going to double click on that so you can see uh, we have the p64 this is the pad drawing but it has been taken into a four size drawing so what, what i'm going to do i'm going to double click on it and give some time to open but once it has opened i'm going to close that so you can see we have the drawing in place but the, uh, the title block is missing so this is an f4 but we don't have an f4 uh uh title block we have an a3 so what we are going to do we will uh, readjust this and readjust the scale and uh, fi feed in or fix in our title block so i'm going to double click inside here double just double click inside here and come to macros i'm going to select macros then double click on the part macro right there so this will take me right all the way to uh to section that will help me add more details or customize uh my my drawing or by bringing in my title block but uh, uh, by default this is a4 so i'm going to click on this drop down arrow and pick a3 and i want to slightly readjust the scale maybe to 15 right there and uh 15 right here let me just 15 right here and what i'm going to do here the height i can just leave it at one uh that would be okay or you can just give it leave it to two then once i've done so and if i'm here i can add the drawing number or the drawing prefix or whichever thing i want to add and i just go ahead and click execute so once i've, uh, I've clicked execute i'll just give some time to process the information so once it has been processed i'll be able to have I, I'll, I'll be able to go back and double click on it or just to will have the the direct preview of what has been changed so let's let's just give some time for the perform for the information to be processed and we'll be able to see the changes that have been ref that that have been made uh with regard to requests that we've done we've, we've made and entered the details of our preference here you can see that you can enter the title of the drawing you can enter the number prefix and the number start value 
by after uh, maybe this is a customer you can customize it to what, whatever details of your choice you can see here follow it with all the, the, the tabs in here so we're just about to to finish or, or to finish the processing of that information we just keyed in and we're almost there let's just give it some time There we are, and I think we've changed a uh, change changes as it has been made. And if I go ahead and click OK and click OK here, and if I zoom out, I'll be able to have my A3. My, this drawing has been fixed on an A3 paper because a reason why I'm doing so because uh, I've, I've checked on my on my on my on my on my uh, data. I don't have uh, an A4 title lock. That's why I switched to A3. But suppose I had, I just I could have just pulled it in and stick it here. And remember, these fields are, are, are fillable, but I'll do that on a special uh, t uh, tutorial specifically for title block. So you can see I have my drawing here and I have this in place. You can see the number, the part has been named like that. I can drag that and maybe I add this breakdown or zigzag line by double. By just double clicking inside here, and checking create symbol and I can add that remember this is 5 point, f 5 point something and if I don't need this uh, decimal points it's always double d double click and come to to macro so once in macro double click once again and just give some time to process that information so so that we don't have so many decimal points uh, that's th some sort of inaccuracy so we, we don't need uh, a decimal points so what I'm going to do I'm going to come to dimensions here and uh, probably I need let me just come to dimensions I come to come to notation uh, properties let me check that if you can change that we can come to uh, precision and just give it zero zero and click apply and give it an OK and click execute and think it will change let me just give it some time to process that information if that doesn't process you just give it a, will uh, give it a, a different approach to modify uh, that precision or accuracy or to avoid or to get rid of those decimal points let's just give it some time there There we are, we can close that and close this. And if I zoom close, you can see we don't have those decimals. And that's how it's done. And I think we are done with this. So you can see all the details, the the, the details about that part is already here. You can see how many pieces there are. They are we, have, we need two of them because there are two rafters. The other one, uh, there's one the other side and one this side. So you can see how intelligent uh, this can be so it it's able to read that there's one in the opposite direction and we just need this to be done twice so that's all all about uh, today's about part creation in commerce so let's meet then on a different topic bye bye